So, as I've been talking about this entire past few weeks, I do pre-record videos the day before and upload them in the middle of my beauty sleep because I end up waking up at 2-3 p.m. every day. The fact is, when there's not really all too much hockey news going on, I can let myself go out there and do things that require me to stay up pretty late. With that being said, last time we talked about this player, Detroit Red Wings 6th overall pick at the 2021 NHL Entry Draft, Simone Edvinson. We had said that the body of work that he had at the World Juniors up to that point might not actually be accurate. We went over an update going over him and his comments made in a Hockey News article, but we also said that the numbers, the statistics, the points and all that might not have been too accurate by the time the video was uploaded. This was because Team Sweden was going to play a game after I recorded the audio, but before the video was uploaded, and we would have had ourselves some inaccurate information afterwards. Now, the thing is, the numbers, the points, the stats, and everything we talked about in that video actually were not inaccurate, because when it comes to Simone Edvinson and the Team Sweden game that was supposed to be played after I recorded that audio and before the video was uploaded, Simone Edvinson actually did not play. This is what happened with Edvinson at the 2022 World Juniors, the second edition World Juniors, taking place in August after the January tournament was cancelled. Simon Edvinson went out there and had himself two points, a goal, and an assist in six games played. He had the A on Team Sweden, and even though Team Sweden was a fairly successful team, they actually went to the bronze medal game, etc., etc., this team was not really carried by anybody offensively. They had a really defensively-minded strategy strategy at this year's World Juniors. You saw a lot of players cycling it around, a lot of guys not really being given all too many offensive opportunities, nor the authority to go out there and dazzle anybody's pants off. It was more passive and a lot more methodical, the way Sweden was playing the game. Either way, though, Simon Edvinson went out there and had himself a game wherein he did not play turns out, this was due to food poisoning that he had suffered at the tournament. It was actually quite noticeable because a lot of Red Wings fans, and Sweden fans alike, commented on Edvinson's previous game, saying, hey, the guy didn't really look like himself, he was definitely a little slower, a little more lethargic, not really all too crisp with the movements he was making out there, and so for him to sit out and say that it was food poisoning afterwards really gave a lot of fans, myself included, a picture as to what was really going on here. Edvinson caught a bug. But that's okay. It happens. At the end of the day, him playing poorly in the game beforehand was not really all too indicative of his skill. It was a lot more so of him and his health. But we had ourselves another interview done with Simon Edvinson before the semifinals game for Sweden versus Finland, that in which Sweden actually lost. They went to the bronze medal game. They won the bronze medal. Meanwhile, Finland ended up losing in the finals to win silver. Canada wins gold. This is the interview that Simon Edvinson did before the Finland game, where he goes over how he felt he was disappointed in the way that he has performed. This was posted onto the Red Wings subreddit by Big Fat Gator, and it's a translation of a presumably Swedish article on Hockeysferia.se. Simon Edvinson's JVM, so Junior Tournament, I believe, has not turned out as he imagined. He has been hampered by an injury and plagued by food poisoning. Despite the extenuating circumstances, the defender judges his own contribution in the tournament. I have not been satisfied with how I played in any of the games, he says to Hockey Sferia. Even before the tournament began, bad luck grinned in the face of the Swedish star defender. Wow, what a great sentence, something out of a Stephen King novel. In the preliminary game against Canada, he sustained an injury that bothered and stayed with him during the tournament, and to top it all off, he suffered food poisoning before the group stage match against the USA. This is what he said about the food poisoning. It was blurry during the game against the Americans. I got really angry, and then I went to the hotel there. Without being too graphic, I can say that it wasn't fun, says Edvinson with a wry smile to Hockey Sferia. It's nothing I recommend to anyone. It wasn't great fun. If we do say so, now I'm fine, so that's a positive anyway. The article then goes over about how, in four games, the defender has played, he has produced two points, and averaged 21 and a half minutes of time on ice per game, he says that I have underperformed. There's much more to give and show for I have not been satisfied with how I've played in any of the games. I have not reached the level I want. I have a few more levels in me. Then I had injury and a food poisoning, which put a spoke in the wheel. So the season hasn't started in the best possible way, says Edvinson, who cannot help but laugh. 
It is interesting to note, by the way, the article will be linked in the description. I'm just seeing it was posted here on the subreddit. So yeah, there you go, hockeysferia.se, having the entire piece available to you if you want to click on that. It is important to note that this was prior to the game versus Finland, so it's not like he's being a sour loser excuse, trying to justify the loss and saying that he was not really good with himself, etc., etc. He's going out there after a pretty good and solid preliminary stage by Team Sweden and saying that even though the team was winning, he still feels uncomfortable and like he has a lot more to give. That in which I respect. Going over to the final comment over here, the Swedish star defenseman who signed his first NHL contract with the Wings this spring hopes to bounce back on track in the semifinals against Finland, in which he expects to be the biggest challenge of the tournament so far. They have many good players. It is not a specific line that you have to watch out for, but they're a very deep team. We have to find a way to exploit their weaknesses. It is the neighbor country, so there will be a little extra glory in the pot. It'll be a good game. After all, we still have a rivalry between the two countries, so there will probably be an extra punch and pressure in the match. That we're looking forward to. And so, we all kind of know what happened afterwards. Finland won, Finland then lost in the gold medal game, Sweden won that bronze, but at the end of the day, for Simone Edvinson, it is really interesting noting that despite everything that happened, he still is going out there and saying that, yeah, disregarding the food poisoning, disregarding the injury, I feel like I underperformed. And to that, I say, that's amazing. Good for him to go out there and hold himself accountable in a pretty mature way, I would say, as well. Like, it's easy to go out there and say, oh, it's because of the food poisoning, it's because of this, it's because of that. He's pretty much saying that, yeah, even still, I have been not satisfied with how I played. I feel like I have a higher level of play that I'm able to go out there and achieve. And I guess all we can do now is wait for Edvinson to go over to Grand Rapids or Detroit in 2022-2023 and show off to everybody that he does have that potential. I mean, sure, he produced okay at this year's World Juniors, two points in six games played is not that bad. I mean, it's not great, but at the same time, it's like, okay, you have to acknowledge how Sweden was playing and how guys like Simone Edvinson were not really given the authority to go out there and just blitz by everybody before scoring highlight real goals. You just saw a lot of team play, a lot of puck movement by the Swedish team in general. It was an instruction that everybody was given. Even guys like Jonathan Karamaki, we're going to talk about him in the next video over here, were not really given too much room off of that leash. But when it comes to Simon Edvinson, I guess this is the update for him. He's got himself a bronze medal, so good on him for that. And hopefully he's going to live off and stay away from that food poisoning because hopefully that sticks around in Edmonton and he does not contract anything like that when he is in Detroit. So, for all the Wings fans going out there, talk in the comments, what did you think about Simon Edvinson and the way that he played the game? I saw a lot of people going out there and calling him out in the game wherein he had the food poisoning, saying that, hey, he really did not look all too great, and it's good that he actually acknowledges that, yeah, he had this, and it really messed up his vision, it messed up his decision-making, etc., etc. I think that was a really important detail that a lot of Red Wings fans probably should have known, and it's good now that they do. But aside from that game, aside from the injuries, how did you think Simon Evanson went out there and played in this year's World Juniors? He was over 20 minutes a game, so good on him for logging the ice time, but my question to you is how well do you think he actually played? Talk to me in the comments all your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this Vitaraj Shrolls 99. And bye.